Hi guys, so in this video, we are going to solve problems involving the length of an arc of a curve using integral calculus. So suppose we have here a curve and we are going to determine the length of the curve from a certain point on that curve. So let's say that this curve is represented by S. Now, the first step guys is let's get a differential strip. So this curve is a function of x. So let's get a differential strip. Let's say that it is a differential s, so ds. Now if we zoom in on that strip, it becomes practically straight. Then the slope of that differential s is given by, you have this triangle. So you have here differential y for the height and differential x for this side. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we have here differential of s squared is equal to dx squared plus differential of y squared. Then you just simplify this. So differential of s squared is equal to dx squared plus differential of y squared. Now, we divide this both side by differential of x squared in order for us to have a dy with respect to x expression so we divide both sides by differential of x squared so differential of x squared all over differential of x squared plus differential of y squared all over differential of x squared so you can cancel this out so that is one differential of x squared all over differential of x squared so differential of s squared over differential of x squared is equal to we have here 1 plus the square of differential of y with respect to x squared then we raise both sides by one half so we have the square root so differential of s with respect to x is equal to the square root of 1 plus you have here differential of y with respect to x that is squared then we multiply differential of x both sides we have differential of s is equal to you have here the square root of 1 plus then this is y prime squared differential of x then we integrate both sides to extract s we have here the integral of differential of s is equal to the integral of you have the square root of 1 plus y prime squared you have here dx from since it is dx so x1 to x2 we can say that s is equal to the integral of square root of 1 plus y prime squared differential of x from x1 to x sub 2. So this will be our formula here for the arc length of a curve. Then we determine those elements. So we have this curve x squared is equal to 4y and we are required to find the length of the arc from x is equal to negative 3 to x is equal to 3. Now, we first grab the curve. You have here x squared is equal to 4y. Therefore, the vertex is facing the x-axis. This is either upward or downward. So, y is positive. Therefore, this is upward. With a vertex at 0, 0, you don't have an h and k. So, from x is equal to 3 and x is negative 3. Then this is the length of the curve which is being required by the problem. Then we apply the formula. So we have here s is equal to the integral of we have here 1 so the square root of 1 plus y prime squared dx from x1 to x2. So here x1 is negative 3 and x2 is 3. We have here x squared is equal to 4y, so we need to find y prime here. So we differentiate both sides. So 2x differential of x is equal to 4 differential of y. So we divide both sides by dx. So differential of y with respect to x is equal to, you have here 2x all over 4. Or that is y prime is equal to x over 2. So we have all the elements now, we can solve this directly. 
So going back to our formula here, we just substitute all those elements. So the arc length S is equal to the integral of, you have here from negative 3 to 3, that is the square root of 1 plus y prime is x over 2. So that is squared differential of x. So we just simplify this, we have S is equal to, you have integral of 1 plus x over 2 quantity squared from negative 3 to 3 so that is over 4 further simplifying we have so s is equal to you have here the integral of you have here 4 to the square root of 4 plus x squared all over 4 so perhaps we can bring this 4 outside so the square root of 1 fourth that is 1 half we have here 1 half can bring that outside you have here differential of x now here we can use our calculator to solve this so directly input in the calculator we have here one half that is the integral of so our limit is from negative 3 to 3 you have the square root of 4 plus x squared so equals you have 7.8 units so that is the final answer guys so if you want to solve this in the long method you can actually use trigonometric substitution so if you recall our previous discussions if you have this expression can be solved using trigonometric substitution as we recall in our previous discussion so this is 2 squared plus x squared so your substitution will become let x be 2 tangent of theta. Then you can solve this in the long method. So manual solving. But you can actually solve this using your calculator. So that's it guys. I hope that you have learned from this topic. So in my next video, I will be discussing area by integration. See you guys and God bless you.